Good Hi, everyone. <laughs> well, what a night. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Let us know that you're watching. Uh, we're a little sleepy this morning. You know why? We had a bear in our yard, and we're right in town. And uh, I didn't know. I was wondering, what is she doing up walking outside? And so I'm, I, I, I have slept through it, but then I was wondering, what is she doing? Well, then I came and woke you up to show you a picture. Yeah, yeah she's got a picture of the bear. But so, yeah, you said, uh, oh, the uh, the the bird feeders yeah, are was, swinging. I got and, up. I was like three thirty in the morning, and I'm looking outside, and the bird feeder is just swaying back and forth, back and forth. And I'm like, it's not windy out, right. and the tree isn't moving. And I'm like, oh no, either we've got some deer or that. The bear woke up. Yeah, so she's a little sleepy. The bear woke up. <laughs> well, anyway, we're talking about seeding vegetables today, and I'm going to show you how how we seed our vegetables, and we seed thousands and thousands of vegetables today. It's um, I, on my chart. I have to start peppers today, so that's what I'm going to be doing, and we're going to be just showing you briefly what uh, what my day is going to entail today. Of, I don't know what you're doing, but I got a whole list. I, I know it's there's never a board boring moment around here but so we're going to uh, take you through um, show you the little cedar machine that I use and how we do that so so what kind of garden do you plant do you plant a big garden or do you plant more of a smaller just what you need garden I know like my mom she plants a, huge, a massive garden yeah and yeah. she just that's her pride and joy and she mm -hmm. loves to do it so we're like hey yeah <laughs> we go we, for it we use our greenhouses um and her garden. Yeah, and her garden. I mean, we'll, we'll grow uh, some cucumbers, um, some tomatoes you'll can in the fall. Yep. Uh, but we, we don't have a huge garden because her mom grows so much. And, and we normally like to, once the greenhouses, I mean, you have to remember we've been gardening yeah. since, you know, January. By the time that we get through this point, we're like, okay, we're wiped. I, I don't want to water anything. Yeah. We're done. Let's go on vacation. Yeah. And that's normally right during harvest season. Yeah. So yeah. We tend to use her garden a lot. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But we do, we grow some tomatoes, we grow some cucumbers, uh, lettuce. Um, so, but yeah, uh, comment down below. Let us know, uh, do you garden at all? Do you use, you know, do you have a big garden or you know, a big traditional garden or do you just do some container gardening? My mom just does, does some big pots for tomatoes um there's works good for her yeah yeah either way there's there's a lot of people that do do either one so some people just get a few tomatoes and some then like you take out. we're talking about seeding today yep. and you take a pepper plant well do you like the bell peppers like the yellows the reds the oranges <laughs> the greens or are you more of a spicier you know jalapeno would be a low on that spicier scale hot scale but then you go up to the habaneros. And that seeding time is a lot different for what varieties that you are looking for. It seems like yeah. the hotter the pepper, the longer the germination. Oh yeah, yeah. If uh, there's and we don't do the real hot, yeah, you know, I know there's ghost peppers and the um We uh, did a few years and they just didn't Well they, they take so long to, to get going. I mean some of those germination it's it's like or not germinate well, yeah, the germination takes a long time, but but to get a pepper it's like hundred and fifty days. Well that's six months so a lot of that, a lot of that stuff we don't get into and, and usually hot pepper people are so specific on what they want we so we don't we don't cater to that we just do some of the normal your basic what people are going to find and we do we do grow uh grow some jalapenos too because we like um stuffed jalapenos so good she's got two really great recipes i'll share them this summer yeah yeah and we've done some videos on that and showed and showed that it that's yeah. that is on our beatyourneighbor.com website uh the stuffed jalapenos the bacon wrapped. bacon wrapped and then the deep fried right, right. yeah yeah yep. those are that's our but that's our summertime have, treat but that then we, we have like hot hungarian wax that we do yeah yeah um serrano yep uh the, the um i'm trying to think of what all poblanos the yeah, poblanos, yeah. Oh, i love poblanos yeah and and then the little yeah. mini bell peppers too so yeah. we we do i don't know maybe there's a variety 10 or 12 different peppers that we but that do we you want to show them i do you want to grab the camera i'll get set yeah. up here let me go on the side of you okay okay so i'm gonna, I'm gonna start with the uh california wonder peppers and we sell a lot of these so that's just a regular green bell pepper and so 
I have this little handy machine, and it's um, you know, some bigger greenhouses uh, have automatic seeders. We, we're not in that category. Um, but this is a handheld um, little seeding wand, and it's, it, it works really well for us. And I just repurpose our plug trays that we get the flowers in. And so this is a 288 tray, so there's 288 cells. And if you can see, this lines up exactly with those cells. So this is hooked up to a vacuum. So I've got my DeWalt vacuum here. And it creates a vacuum in, in this tube. And each of these little uh, nozzles will suck up one seed on here. And the way that we create the vacuum is there's a hole in, in this tube and I just put my thumb over it. It's kind of like a flute. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like a terrifying looking flute. So, and I'm gonna explain all this because you won't be able to hear once I turn the, the vacuum on. And I, I just put my thumb over that. I go into the tray and pick up the seed. So I have all my pepper seed laid out here and I'll just put my thumb over, create a vacuum and then drop it into the cells. And you just keep doing that. And you can do, you can do thousands of seeds pretty quickly. So I'll fire this up just to show you. I'll So I was going very slow, just so that Amy could kind of keep up and show you. And uh, it, it doesn't go that slow. We, we do this very quickly. You, you're just going back and forth, back and forth. And it, it takes 30 seconds to do a 288 tray. But that's how we'll do it for these. Um, we just do the vegetable seeds like that. And like I said, we, we grow, I don't know, tens of thousands of vegetable seeds like that. So you're the broccoli, the cauliflower, the uh, the peppers, the tomatoes, uh, cabbage. Um, you can you can put the put that back on. So that's how we will do that. And um, so that's once they're in the seeds in the seed trays. So I would have this all filled out with seeds. And then I'll go through and do just a dusting of uh, germinating mix. So we, we have to cover up the seed. So I'll take the germinating mix and put it through a sifter and just lightly coat this. And then we'll come through with a, a misting nozzle and wet this down and get it wet. And then it goes into our propagation chamber. And that propagation chamber keeps, it has heating mats. So this will sit on a heating mat and all 24 hours a day, it'll sit at about 85 to 90 degrees and it'll just generate that bottom heat. The soil is moist and it, it really pops those seeds really quickly. So that's, that's how we do it commercially. So really when we're doing like when we did the marigolds and we did, you know, just yep. a flat tray that had soil in it, it's really the same concept. It's just that these are so much easier to take out this whole plug of roots. You can let them grow a little bit. Yeah. Instead of yeah. having a mass of them that you're tearing apart. And then transplant. We, mm -hmm. and, and you can't see, I mean, there's, there's and sometimes on those nozzles, I'll get multiple seeds and we don't worry about it because they'll just pull them apart. You know, if you have four peppers growing in one cell, they just pull them apart. It, it's not really a big deal. So it's, it's a little more manual labor, but it's, it's, it's still, it's, it's a lot easier than... They can grow that, that root into that little yeah. one that you can pull out and, and it they just, just... You just pull them apart. And, right, but when you do the, the solid one... Yeah, just, in the little cells. Yeah, it's, That root system stays nice and compact, so we can just poke and plug and... Yeah, so, so that's how we do it um, as a commercial greenhouse. And like I said, we're, we're not this massive plant factory, so those, those really giant greenhouses, they have machines that... Oh, yeah. It's the same it's concept, except it's a great big machine that, you know, if they're doing millions of 
of plugs like that. You know, they have these drums with tiny little holes and it, it sucks those up and it just automatically drops them with, you know, with machinery. And it, it's kind of, it's kind of neat to see that way. Um, obviously we're not in that category. We're not a, we're not a plant factory like that. We're a smaller <laughs> greenhouse, but uh, the vegetables, we do it that way because it, the, the vegetable seeds are bigger. Um, and we used to, uh, we used to grow just about everything from seed and I'm so glad we don't anymore is <laughs> because petunia seed wax begonia seed i mean so it's so little. little i mean if you sneeze boom hundred thousand seeds are you know gone it's, i mean it's like dust some of that stuff so i'm i'm so glad we don't do it that way anymore um and, and there's different sizes of nozzles so uh they look like little needles they yeah are little, yeah they, they basically heads. are they're blunt needles and um and those are the big those are the big needles so i used to do petunia seed and even static electricity, you'd have this tiny little nozzle and trying to draw one petunia seed up to that nozzle and you'd have 30 clumps to it. So just from static electricity. So I'm, I'm so glad we don't do that anymore. Yeah, I mean, but the vacuum works really well. It works great for the vegetables. Noisy. So we still seed vegetables. Like I said, we do, we actually do tens of thousands of vegetable seeds like that. Marigolds. Marigolds will do, uh, alyssum. Alyssum is very small. That I, that I do by hand. Sometimes if you do extra crops, sometimes yeah. you'll, you'll throw in the impatience or... Yeah, marigolds, there's a, uh, we did the zinnias, the zinnias were big, yeah. the calendula, we, uh, we seed that by hand. Um, so that's, that's how we seed our vegetables commercially uh, as a commercial greenhouse. So I hope so you enjoy. That's your job today. That's my job. I got to do peppers. Peppers take a little bit longer to germinate. So I think next week is actually tomatoes. But the peppers, we want to get going about a week early. So I have it all charted out uh, on a, uh, a chart, and I just can kind of go down and look at, okay, this is the date. I have to start, you know, peppers today. I have to start tomatoes today. I have to start cabbage, you know. So And that would be a great reason of why people are like, oh, the weather's been so nice. Are you opening early? No. <laughs> and we're like, we're on a schedule because we don't know what the weather's going to do for sure next week or yeah, two, yeah. three weeks from now. And if we're not just on that same schedule, it can get, you know, just kind of guessing and really goofed up. Yeah, you, you because have to Because we take... don't want to sell them in a little tiny cell and they're this tall yeah, because yep. then, you know, you've got breakage, you've got it's drinking too much, it's not enough soil. You, when we're selling it, we want it to be a certain height so that it's growing healthy for the customer and to that, be able to transplant And that it. information of decades of experience of... Yeah we're not going to plant our garden in northern Wisconsin in March because you're going to get wiped out. So that's why it doesn't matter if it's beautiful out. And we've had, it was, this has been a crazy winter. We've had almost 70 degrees and crazy. people are itching. That's but the bear's up. Yeah, the bear's out and about because it's, it's warm. Mm -hmm. But we know that that's not normal and you still go, our, our schedule does not move because it's been decades like this and this is when we should be doing it. So that's when, when we're seeding just yep. like normal. Even if we have a warm spring, we're, we're on that same, same schedule because you really shouldn't in our area be planting your garden until into June. That's yeah. just, that's just a normal. End of May, June, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, so, and, and some people do, so. If you know how to get rid of a bear in your yard, <laughs> let us know. Oh. <laughs> because he's causing some havoc right now. I was thinking, oh man, he could get into the greenhouses and, you know, they come right through the side in the plastic and, uh, we gotta and make then sure I can there's... get some sleep. Yeah, yeah. Because I went back to sleep and then I started dreaming about bears in the greenhouse and that wasn't good either. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so yeah, if you have bear troubles, let us know what, what your solution <laughs> is. I suppose you got to get the bird feeders way up and I don't know, he just, he totally destroyed it. I thought it was a deer because we noticed last week one of the bird feeders that's way out um, on the edge of our yard it was down. I thought, well, the deer just it knocked it just down. down. It I, yeah, demolished. when I walked up to the, it was ripped apart and it's metal. So it was ripped apart. And I'm like, well, that was not a deer. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a bear in town and that's, it's happened before. It's just never happened that we've had a, uh, a bear in our yard, you know, messing with our bird feeders. That's been hanging around. Like they passed through, but this one's hanging around. Yeah. Yeah. So, so anyway, well, back to All right. work. All right. Have a great day. We'll see ya.